Howdy, it's your host, Race here. I'm here to probably present you our fourth installment. In this one here, I'm going to show you 14 more tricks that you can do for Canadian summer. Without further ado, let's summer our way into these 14 tricks here inside of this. And here I stand, right before you, and here is where I'll call up our first trick from here. And that is the disappearing Canadian penny chamber magic trick. Here's what this will look like. So here you can see here, I, I got my um my penny right here that has uh, the leaf on it. You see here, I just place it into this. You can see this right here. Watch. By magic, completely, this disappears. Where does it end up? I'm disappearing from a, this. Let's take a look down here. By magic, it goes directly into my pocket. So how did I get the penny to vanish from this and end up in my pocket? As it is about to reveal the Canadian secret to you. Right now, here's what you're going to need to make the penny to, to, to do that. Okay, and that is what, what you'll see right here. You'll need is two of the same pennies that have the queen's heads on here as well as the Canadian leaves onto it. Then you'll be needing is a, a black um, uh, card cut, uh, cut into a square that will fit the square chamber you see this right here you can see right here what you're going to do is put a kind of sticker onto it what you're going to do is take your gimmick and place it up like this and then have the penny in the inside just I guess you're going to it is is hide this just like this and then from, from here you're gonna make sure that sure that this is in your pocket before you um, start the magic trick so what you're going to do is you're going to take your a penny here and just, uh, just place it into your shorts just like that what you're going to do is sew the penny in the inside just by sewing it like this putting it down being mindful not to expose the gimmick in here. And when you swing the penny, this will fall like this as you give it a close. You can wave your hands over it and then give it a tap. All you gotta do is simply just open it like this and swing the penny completely vanished. Turn it's done. Say, okay, now where did the penny, the, the penny go? It's completely vanished. All you gotta do is go to your pocket and pull out the penny that you may have vanished by the use of the nice Canadian chamber you see just right here. It makes for a very cute little Canadian master trick that anyone can do. And that right there is how you do the magic vanishing penny chamber master trick. And here we now we're gonna get into our next uh, coin one. That is any coin, a sun coin. Coming into our trick number two, right to you. I see that with a smile on my face. And that is the magic Canadian sun dollar magic trick. Is what this sun dollar will sun like. Is this? Where's the sun? Just outside. So I'll see you outside for this one. I'll see, I'll, I'll see you out there very quickly. Or this one. So here we am just outside. You can see here that I hold my dollar here. Let's reach up to the sun. Watch. You can see by magic how the sun turns to dollar. Completely invisible. 
Now, how about you just take this and watch? It comes right back. So, how did I do this? As it is about to reveal the secrets here outside. All you'll be needing are just two Canadian things for this. So, all you will be needing is um round mirror. You can find this in the whole stationery store and a dollar. You can see here. Let me put them here. Get the reflection into it so you guys can, can, can see what, what it looks like. Okay, what I want to do is going to put this in the back of the uh, dollar like this. <laughs> Make sure it's lined up nice and flush. All you got to do is go up like this. You want to, 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 to do this up in the sky with the sun. So you're going to go up like this. And go up. And by magic, by the sun, the dollar completely turns invisible. The dollar here is just hidden just right here. All you gotta do is push this back like this. Like this. And make it reappear, you see? Just right here. And that would do so you do the magic sun dollar magic trick. Very Canadian like. So you need is just um, a mirror and a nice gold dollar. You see just here. Then that puts us directly down to our trick number three. From here. And that is the Canadian penny and coin chain magic trick. Is what this will look like. We are inside for this one. You see here, I got my chain here, and I got my penny. Watch, just take this. And you see, by magic, it goes right on the chain. So how did I get the penny here to go on to the chain with the other chains on the chain? As is about to reveal the secrets. Here's so what you're gonna to need to put the penny on the chain. That's so what you see here on the tricks tail. All you will be needing is um, some chains, a penny. See, just right here. That's the leaf on it. And then you'll need is just um, chains, a chain, you see, just right here. And it has a penny on to it, you see, just right here. What you want to do is conceal this penny like this behind here. Like that. That way you can toss this and it goes right on. Just like that. I'll show you this standing up. So, like, uh, like this. Paying just here. All you gotta do is you're going to is sink by going like this. This is retaining to your hand. Make your way to your pocket. By magic, uh, the penny that you had in your hand gets tossed and ends up on the chain. You see, just right here. Makes a really um, amazing magic trick that, that, that you can do for Canadian summer. There, it gets the Canadian change with that one. From here, that brings us directly down to our trick number four from here. That is the Magic Restoring Lucky Penny Sash Magic Trick. Is what this Restoring Penny Sash will look like. So here I got my um my Lucky Penny right here, and all I have right here is the uh, chain right here. I'm going to place this into the uh, sash. Just like this, I'm gonna give this a nice wrap up like this. Okay. I'm going to is to, to, to uh, take this, just give it a nice gentle wrap here like this. Watch very carefully. That magic it restores by the sash. So how do I do this? As is about to reveal the secrets. So 
But here's what you're gonna need to hold this distant office. Only three things that you'll we'll be needing to get for this magic trick. And that is what you'll see right here. All you need is two of the same lucky pennies. You see, just see here. One you're gonna take off, uh, one you're gonna leave on the uh, keychain. That's what this is, it's a keychain. Then what you will, will be needing is this nice um, sash bookmark. You see, just see here. What you want to do is take the one that's the full one and it does like this. And then put it in just like this and you'll hold that just like that. With this, I'm gonna place this in to it just like this. This now, when you wrap it, you're gonna just steal this back like this as you are wrapping it like this. As now you're folding it, it like this, it's just concealed just right here. All you gotta do is dispose of that. You hold the uh, chain. You just keep a, a rubbing like this. The magic it restores by the use of a bookmark red sash. You see, just here. Here, after it's done, put the sash out, and then put the uh, um, penny lucky penny keychain onto it and present. And that right there is how you do the magic trick to it. Give it out for. The Magic Canadian Lucky Penny Restoring Sash. That's our trick. Then that brings us down to our trick, our trick number five. And that is the Magic Canadian Leaf Award Magic Trick. Here's what, what this Leaf Award will Canadian award like. So here is a definite award w winner. I'll see you outside for this this one as well. I'll see you just right out there. Hey, look what I won. I won a leaf award. Watch this. By magic, it changes into a kickball award. How is this award winning one done? As it is about to reveal. The secrets are you be needing are two Canadian things for this one. What you will be needing is an award, and another a very cool award, or anything that looks like this or something similar. A sports award, the Canadian style. Then you'll need is a red leaf. What you want to do is take the red leaf and place it over. The picture of the award and hold it just like this. That way, it looks like um, a Canadian leaf award. All I gotta do is take a hand and simply just pull this down like this. And it's changing the award. So it's done. Put this in, into your, your pocket of your pants or shorts and show the award from a leaf award into a Canadian sports award. Very award winning. There, I give to you the award from here. And that right there is how you do the Magic Canadian Leaf Award. Magic trick. Since I won this one, I'm gonna wear this for the video. Okay, for our next trick. What is our next trick? We're gonna get down to a Canadian number six. The trick there was what it's called the Magic Canadian deck and brandy leaf magic trick is what this will look like so here I got my uh, Canadian cards you see here and I got my brandy leaf you see that's right here going to do is gonna place this on top of the first card like this I'm gonna place it up to the corner watch the leaf very carefully by magic it goes down to the corner want to see it again watch so how did I get the brawny leaf to, to, to do that 
as is about to reveal the secrets. All you'll need is a brawny leaf. Um, why I call it the brawny leaf is because this is a, uh, a bronze leaf you see just right here. Then what you will be needing is the official um, Canadian deck of bicycle cars you see just right here. That's what you'll be needing to get. So a deck and a brawny leaf. That's all that you'll be needing. What you want to do is going to sew the the backs and sew the fronts of the cards. Give a nice, real Canadian card fan like that. You can use any card or a selected card. All you gotta do is going to place the brawny leaf after folding it up a little bit. So that way, uh, it can slip. I'm gonna just start off with the, with the corner, give it a little tilt, not by much, like this. And you'll see is that leaf will end up moving. And that right there is how you do the magic brawny leaf and duck. Magic trick. And then from there, we're gonna get down to our next trick. What comes after six, but to seven? Here is trick seven. That is the Canadian Magic Catch Ball Cup Magic Trick. Is what this Catch Ball Cup will catch like. Okay, so here I got my nice um, pencil for a wand. And here I got is my little Catch Cup, my Canadian Catch Cup. And I got my ball here. I'm going to do is going to go from the air and end up in the cup. I just this thing is just to take this watch by magic it completely just disappears. Watch this Move over again. Hand watch this. It comes right back. So how did I catch up by the cup and make a vanish? As it is about to reveal the secrets. All you'll be needing is a rare part of cup. And just put on some Canadian stickers on it. You see just here. Then you'll be needing is a um, Canadian leaf pencil for a wand. And then you'll be needing is a, a cat's ball. You see this just here. All you gotta do is get this things up in the air and have it to catch inside here. It's very simple. So you're gonna throw it up. Goes in. Nothing but. Canadian net into that cup. Wave like this as you hold and pinch this in like this. You're gonna know, pinch it, wave, and then go like this and make the vanishing to happen. Once it's done, wave over again, place this into your armpit just like that. Release the detention, it'll fall down. All you gotta do is simply just pick the cup up like this and by magic, make it up here. And that right there is how you do the Magic Cash Ball Cup. Magic trick. A very cool um, sport Canadian Magic Trick trick that you could do. Because all you need is just the, the bowl, the party cup, and a nice Canadian pencil for a Canadian Magic Wand. And that right there is how you do the Magic Canadian Cat's Ball Cup Magic Trick. Putting us strictly down to our trick number eight from here on our installments for And again, thank you guys so much for watching our installments one through three. Coming up after this one tomorrow will be our fifth installment, so please stay tuned for that. Okay, here is our eighth trick. So here it goes into a cola glass and a cork. The magic trick, which I like to call the Canadian cola glass and cork magic trick. Here's what this will look like for this. I'll see you back inside for, for this one. Okay, so here I got my uh, uh, acrylic glass to cork was. Oh, 
Whoa! Wow, that was very strong and free. Wow, did you see that? Wow! Look at it. It's just right inside there. I just did this. If you really want to know the secret behind this to you, right now as it is, I'm not going to um, leave you cold out for too long as it is about to reveal the secrets. All you'll be, be needing is um, a cola glass. Let me see this here. And you'll need is a cork. A regular one. I got you there. Happens to be is a paper one here that's been taped and bent like this. And the paper is a carefully stippled in black. You see this right here? Giving it the cork effect. And then what you want to do is just put it in on top of the and the entrance way of the bottle just like this. So you're gonna start off with it just like this. So what you gotta do is you're gonna go go like this to your head and you'll just go like this, but be forceful. And then it'll fall into the bottom just like that. And that right there is how you do the magic cola glass and cork magic trick. A very amazing Canadian magic trick that you can do. Very simple and very easy to do. All is required is the, the, the paper, the stippling, a little bit of tape, and you got yourself the, the corks. And then with that, get a cola bottle and you got to get yourself an amazing cola uh, glass magic trick. That's definitely right for Canadian Summer. Cheers. From here, that puts us strictly down to our ninth trip from here. That is the magic ribbon tied penny cap mug magic trick. This is what this penny cap mug will look like. Okay, so here I got my uh, nice mug here, you can see, and I got this um, paint cap, you see, just here, you see, it's a ball cap, removal, and you can see it has been tied, it goes like this, watch, whoa, whoa, cool, that was a sweet one, did you see that, guys, check this out, just say here. And it was tied with the ribbon. How's this one done? As is about to reveal the secrets. All you'll be needing are three Canadian things for this one. One, you'll need is a mug, red, and just put a sticker of a flag onto it. Then you'll be needing is the, uh, the, the uh, um, penny cap. Why do you call it the penny cap? Because this here is a ball cap part here that can remove ball caps. That's what this is right here. What you'll be needing for it is a nice red ribbon. You see this right here. What you want to do is dress the ribbon into it just like this. And you're going to just simply fold it over just like that. And you're gonna hold it like this. With it down like this. That way, it looks like it's completely tied. Really, it isn't. You want to have a, a mug over here. All you gotta do is gonna pull like that. And by magic, it will bust free from the ribbon and end up in the mug. After it is done, the ribbon just goes on the side of it. And then all you gotta do is just sew it in the inside, like this. And now right there is how you do the magic ribbon tied penny cap mug magic trick. Makes for another another very cool magic trick that you can that you can do for Canadian summer. 
Here we get down to our next trick. What comes after nine is trick number ten. Here on our fourth installment. And it is the Magic Lucky Ice Cream Scoop Magic Trick. So this Lucky Ice Cream Scoop will scoop like... Can't forget the ice cream, guys. Let's take a look. Got some nice ice cream here, guys. And here. Yeah, actually, just take this. And I'm going to is go in, but first I'm going to use this as a scoop wand. Let's go in. Let's see if there's anything inside. The steps, I mean, this takes out. You see, you got some ice cream here, guys. Okay, I'm melting because it's pretty hot. It's pretty hot here a little bit. I'm going to go to just dig in and we'll see just how lucky this is. Whoa, what it appears to be is gold coins in the ice cream. Wow. Just uh, kind of just uh, let them off a little bit here, guys. So you can see just uh, how gold the coins are. Now we can see all the nice um, luck of the uh, gold rush there, the Canadian gold rush. You can see, you can see the gold is coming through the ice cream. So how did I do this? This is about to reveal the secrets. All you'll be needing are some few simple things for this one. All what you'll be needing is um, your gold coins, having a whole buck or two, make it nice and golden, making it the, the luck of the ice cream. Then that brings us to the ice cream scoop. We're going to use this as a wand and to scoop the ice cream as well too. Now all you need is um, um ice cream bucket or a yogurt bucket. And you're gonna have some ice cream or yogurt in the inside. You see, just here. What you wanna do is just place the coins up like this and hide it just up here. You see, just right inside the upper part, like this. So you can see the bucket, see it completely empty, drop the coins in, use this as a wand, and Give this scoop tap. Go in to get scoop tap and just get the coins from it into there. You see it's kind of dripping. I guess, I guess, now I'm there. All you gotta do is just to take this, go in to the ice cream and take out the coins. You see, that's it here. So it is done. Put your scoop aside and then just, uh, Brush off a little bit of the ice cream like this so you can see the gold peering through the ice cream like this, making the ice cream nice and lucky because of the gold coins. You can see the gold peering out from them. the ice cream. You see it does it here. With that, let me just uh, get my hands uh, white here so I get Ice cream on my hands there. Okay, nice and sticky. I'll definitely want to shop after this one. Makes for another very cool trip that you, you could do for Canadian summer because it involves the ice cream. And that right there, so you do the magic Canadian lucky ice cream magic trick. Then uh, there, that puts us directly down to our next Canadian number, to our Canadian trick number 11. And that is the Canadian Magic Roped Ring and Flag Magic Trick. Here's a this one. Rope like. Here we are inside for this one. Here, I got my um, rope tied ring. You see this here that has this not the inside, and I got my um, Canadian leaf scarf here. We're gonna just take this, just like that. 
and we all go in just like this. So because you can see where it is. I'm going to is just simply just use this and just get a cover just like that. What I'm going to do is gonna two take the rope ends one here and one here watch by magic it comes free from the rope guys can take a look at the ring and the rope so how do I do this as it is about to reveal the secrets all you be needing are just three Canadian things one a Canadian flag scarf you see this here two You'll need is a magician's white cloth rope, see this right here, and a nice gold ring. Here, get the rings involved in this one. Okay, what you want to do is, with the rope, you're going to is tie a slip knot into it, just like this. Like this. This will become free. All you gotta do is just uh, pull this very tightly. Pull the other one, not all the way, but to here, so that, so that you see is the, the knot on the ring, you see this here. Then you need this for a covering, what you're going to be do, doing under the covering is going to yank this, like this, just like that. You're going to, 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 to do this by the use of this. So it'll look, it'll look something like this. Tip, make sure that you have the uh, rope out like this. One on each side just like this. Okay, so you, you get that. You can sew the knot onto it and then place this on top of it just like that. And then just simply pull the two ends like this and then pick it up like that by magic. The ring breaks free from the rope. The rope is now under the um, Canadian scarf you see. Just right here. So it's done. Put that aside. Sew the rope. And then sew the gold ring. You see? Just right here. Makes for a really great magic trick you could do just right at the table. And that right there is how you do. The Canadian Magic Ring Rope Tie Canadian Leaf Scarf Mouser Trick. Here we're going to get a rope and a Canadian scarf and my magic tying it into the rope of it. Coming into our trick number 12, and that is the magic Canadian flag scarf and rope magic trick. This is what this will look like for this. I'll see you outside for this one. Okay, so here I got my can my Canadian um, scarf right here, and I got is my my large rope right here. I'm gonna actually feed this in just like this. What I'm going to do is gonna hold on to this. Watch, by magic, it ties on. It's like it lassoes itself on. That there was a definite, great, strong, and free one. So how was that done? As is about to reveal the Canadian scarf and rope to you right now. All you need all this so simply those two things. Here's what, what. You, you'll need to make this magic trick happen. Walking your way with it in my hands right here. Okay, so all you will be needing is this really big rope. You're going to double it up like this. Okay. And then you're going to do is the other part goes down just like this. And then laced over the other one here. This is going to create a knot when you go like this. There's a knot right there. 
What you want to do is you're going to get the uh, scarf to get knotted up inside of it. Like this. So I tell you, you sew the scarf with the leaf onto it. You see just here. What you're going to is just put it in to the loop down here. Not this one. The other one right here. What you're going to do is going to hold this, pull this in very quickly, and by magic, have it to tie um, onto it. You see just right here. And now right there, so you do the magic Canadian scarf and rope magic trick. There it gets the Canadian tie within this one. Makes a very cool magic trick you could do that's right outside. Strong and free. What should I say? True North, strong and free. Here we're going to get the spirit of Canada into a cold can and a scarf. I'm making something pretty amazing with it. Coming into our trick number 13, that is a Canadian magic cola spirit flag. Magic trick. This is this cola spirit flag, will Canadian like. And here I come to you, holding my uh, cola can here. And my scarf. Watch. I'm gonna actually just take this. Watch. By magic, by the spirit, it begins to float. So how did I do, I uh, do I uh, do this? As is about to reveal the secrets. All you will be needing is um, the official can a cola can. And then you will be needing is um, anything will do, wand or whatever you have. I'm going to tape it in the back right here. It's just going to, the truss that's going to allow you to float the cola can. I'm going to put that into your armpit like this. That's just allowing it to uh, float. Here it looks just like this. What you want to do is get your um, flag scarf involved. You know. Hold the scarf, like just like this, and end up going down like this, and moving this aside. I'll switch from over here, like that, and this rising above, just like that. That's all that you are doing. From, from here, it looks like this. Like that. I'll show over here. Again, I'm here. Rise. And it ended up doing that. From here. And it ended up doing that. By magic, making a, a Canadian Coligan can float by the Canadian spirit. It turns done. Simply just. Move, um, um, move it and hold it like this. As you go like this. After this, that's done. Just simply just dress this over um, the rod like that we have. And so that way they can get to see the cold cam being held in your hand and having the scarf just um, going over your forearm. And that way, there's how you do the magic Canadians. Canadian Spirit Cola Scarf Magic Truck. Conan Cadugs involves the Canadian Spirit. Like this one. Cheers to, uh, cheers to that one. Hey, you're going to get a cola bottle, make it disappear, and end up in a popcorn bag. Coming into our last trick to our trick number 14. That is a magic disappearing cola pop bag. Magic Truck. It was like this one. Look like. Okay, so here I got uh, my uh, cola ball here. I got this very nice and cool bandana. Nice, my leaf one here. 
And I have a popcorn bag right here. Okay, I want you guys to take a look in the inside of my popcorn bag here. You see that there's nothing in the inside of the bag. Okay, what I'm going to do is going to make this vanish and end up in here. Do you think I can? Okay, so guys, we'll see what I could do with that. I'm just going to just place this over. Just like this, it'll happen in a flash watch. It vanishes. That magic that comes right out of the popcorn bag. How is this one done? As is about to reveal the secrets. All you'll be needing is two cola bottles. You see this here. Then you'll be needing is a popcorn bag. You see what we're here going to do is going to create a pocket with the with two bags. So there's two bags involved. One is a pocket for you to put in one of the cola bottles like this. In the back here. That way you can easily just hold this down so that way um, you don't see the cola bottle which is just right here. So you're gonna hold it down like this. So you can see it there's nothing in the inside. Like that. So that is Done, all you gotta do is take your first cola that is left out and place at the edge of a table. And then with the um, least scarf, you're gonna use this as a covering. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing behind the covering. So this is what's happening under the covering. Cover goes there. Immediately just go and pick this up and put it down at the edge of a park bench or whatever like that. They know that you just uh, cover it by the use of the, the covering you see just here. Keep on holding the, the covering. All I gotta do is pull up like this and make the vanish to happen. When it's done, place the um, cloth down just on the side to see here. They've seen an empty popcorn bag because you're showing them completely empty. All you gotta do is just move the um, the pocket and go in and by magic it appears coming out of out of the popcorn bag like this. Make sure you come out with the label so you see the label part of the cola can coming out of the popcorn bag you see you just here. And that right there is how you do it, the magic fashion cola bo bottle popcorn bag magic trick. Before we get to the outside, I want to light a candle to show you the light and love for Canadian summer. First up, I'm going to is dim the lights for this one, so you can, you can see the lighting of the candle. Okay, so I dimmed the lights for this, guys. I've got my uh, nice oil lighter here. Get a light this on for you guys. There we go. There's the light of Canada with this. You see this here. It's very nice. Full of light and full of Canadian love. With this as well too. And with that, we'll definitely like so the spirit. Making things nice and light, bright, and lively. Now, let's wrap this one off by saying that right there is how you do the magic dancing cola bottle and pop bag. Now, for the closing uh, scenery, will be our true north, strong and free, great outdoors.